After 16 years, the Burt Blaine shootout in Janesville is still going strong. First year I think we had about uh, a dozen golfers and this year we're going to have about 330. The tournament is named after the Blaine's Farm and Fleet founder, Burt Blaine, who died of a heart attack in 1993, right before becoming chairman of the first Blaine's AHA Heart Walk. 26 years later, Blaine's is still partnered with the American Heart Association, raising $5.1 million over the years for the organization. Disease affects everybody. I don't care who you are, where you work, you know, everyone, every family has heart disease in it. And if we can save one more life, we're going. This year, even after the final swing on the course, there will be the potential for saving a life. That's because this year, Blaine's physical security manager and golf outing chairman Dan Boutel secured an AED machine to be given away to one lucky golfer. I thought it was kind of a nice tie-in um, that uh, we have AEDs in all our locations. I think everyone should have an AED at their workplace, um, you know, where they shop, where they eat, where they bank. But the winner of the AED has one at the workplace. I hope they are going to donate it to another cause, maybe a homeless shelter, a YMCA, um, anywhere there's you know a large amount of people, uh, you know, we should have an AED with them. Blaine's commitment to heart health goes way beyond this single event one day a year. In fact, every time you walk into a Blaine store, you can rest assured that the Farm and Fleet family cares about your safety. Believe it or not, Blaine's is the only retailer in the nation and with AEDs in every single store location, corporate office, warehouse, every property Blaine's owns, there's an AED machine. They care about the employees, they care about the public, the people who shop there. Uh, they care about what happens in their stores. Uh, I think it was the greatest, one of the greatest investments they ever made. It's an investment that paid off for 48-year farm and fleet worker Keith Brown after a woman collapsed in the store he was assistant manager in in Janesville five years ago. Had employees that let us know that uh, there was a lady that was down in our plumbing department. So I was the first one on site. And there was no sign of life at all. And uh, we started the CPR right away. I called for the uh, AED machine. And luckily I had lots of help there with me. Uh, that's kind of the success story is having a lot of help to give you a hand. So we had employees that were um, on the phone with the dispatchers. We had employees telling the paramedics how to get back to the area where we were. And it was just, it was a group effort. I, I just happened to be the first one there and, and start the uh, compressions and got the AED machine uh, on the patient and was able to, at the end, save her life. Brown says the required AED training all farm and fleet managers go through every two years has made a huge difference. You feel more comfortable every time you go through that. Um, you know, when something like that happens, uh, your, your heart starts to beat and you, you know, you get nervous, but you, get, you gotta do it. The sooner you can get it on the patient, the easier it is because it tells you exactly what you need to do. But it's more relaxing when you know someone is there helping you and that machine tells you all and you cannot do anything wrong when you're using that machine, basically. That adrenaline rush is just, that, that's hard to explain. It took a little bit of time to process, um, took a little bit longer for that dust to kind of settle down and realized, you know, what just happened and what we just, what we just did. So it was amazing, amazing feeling. Waukesha Blaine's Farm and Fleet store manager, Brian Many also knows what it's like to save a customer thanks to an accessible AED. 2015 we had a customer that was getting some uh, automotive work done in our service center and while he was waiting he was kind of shopping and browsing our store um, and then uh, when he was over by the grill area um, he collapsed. Brian was unloading tires in the stock room when he heard over the walkie talkie that a man was down. Since my assistant was with me um, I sent him to go grab the AED where and then I took off and went to where the customer was reported down. Another assistant got on scene first and immediately started CPR. Once we apply the AED, um, then the, the AED pretty much takes over and instructs us what to do. But then it alerted us that a shock needed to be applied. And once we apply the AED, 
um, then the, the AD pretty much takes over and instructs us what to do. You know, so during that time, um, we were continuing the CPR because the AED machine was instructing us to do that. Um, but then it alerted us that a shock needed to be applied. The machine instructed them to continue CPR and then called for a second shock. So as we're doing the chest compressions after the second shock, the customer was starting to respond a little bit. And then about that time, the paramedics arrived. A few months later, Brian was able to meet the man whose life was saved by the AED machine. Once again, just the, that, that overwhelming feeling of seeing him, um, knowing where he was that day, um, you know, on the ground, and then seeing him standing, walking, and you know, talking to us again, it just kind of set me back because all those feelings kind of rushed back a little bit. I even I talked to him, um, I think it was a week ago also, um, after a few years had gone by, and to hear that he's still doing well, and, um, and things are going good, it's just, yeah, it's a great feeling. I actually wasn't supposed to be working, it was my son's birthday. But on that July 9th, two years ago, then Monroe store assistant manager Nick Schneider was at the right place at the right time after a cashier came to him panicked. I rushed out um, to the customer, to the gentleman. Um, I saw right away um, he was distressed. Um, finding out, um, you know, what I know now, he was, he was dead. Nick started CPR and called for the AED machine. A certified nurse just so happened to be in the parking lot at the time. By the time I was done with my first compressions, she arrived and actually started a, a second set of compressions while um, I started to open up the AED machine to put it on the gentleman. She went back to a second set of compressions and then after that the machine told me to shock the gentleman again, which I, I did. Then me and her switched off. Kind of out of nowhere, you kind of just heard like a, ah. Uh, and kind of all in this time frame, the Green County EMS came in. Nick says he knows the availability of an AED in the Monroe store that day was a lifesaver. If I had to guess, um, you know, just CPR wouldn't have been enough. Um, the, the shocks, um, you know, you feel kind of the, the, the pulse leave the machine and, and, and hit the, you know, hit the person. So. Um, I had to go back, you know, I think it would have been a different outcome if we didn't have the AED. Nick, Brian, and Keith aren't the only Blaine's Farm and Fleet managers with amazing survival stories to tell. Altogether, we've had seven saves within our stores. It was put to use by store management, uh, customers, and employees within our stores that um, had a heart attack while in our, our store location. I'm just glad with all the saves our company has done, um, you know, since we've rolled out the AEDs and, um, you know, just giving everybody a chance to go back home that night and, and you know, celebrate a holiday or, or whatever. We treat our customers like neighbor, we treat our customers like family, and to be able to have that AED um, to help in a situation that goes bad or goes wrong is just, I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling.